So um, on the poll earlier, I asked you if all of you had a handshake. Hopefully all of you do. Um, so again, handshake is about your profile and your brand. Um, like I said earlier, handshake has an algorithm that matches things. The more you use handshake, the more clicks you have and the more your pro the more complete your profile is, the better handshake is able to tailor positions, internship, entry level jobs to you. And they can start filling your queue and your inbox with that information. But if you never use handshake, if you never complete your profile, the algorithm won't know what you're interested in. They don't know if you want, you know, EE like, you know, um, you know, hardware positions, or if you want EE, like infrastructure uh, positions, like, you know, or systems engineering positions, they don't know until you click and use the platform. So please, you should be using Handshake on the daily if you're actively looking for internship opportunities. I would say an average undergraduate student who's actively looking for positions is logging 10 hours a week to this search process, either on Handshake, on LinkedIn, or, you know, writing resumes or applying online to positions or following up with recruiters. On Handshake, what I want to focus on is how you can search for full-time jobs and in internships. And again, this applies to international students, so positions abroad and domestic um, um, positions. Um, and it's easy access to on-campus events. So um, all of the on-campus recruitment events, um, for the most part, I would say 90% of the ones that happened at the Career Center are posted on Handshake. Um, and you get to di directly interact with Handshake recruiters through Handshake messaging. Um, so again, the difference between using Handshake and using something like Monster or Indeed or LinkedIn is you got to remember that Handshake is specifically companies coming to UCLA saying, we want to hire Bruins for this specific position. As opposed to if you go on Indeed and Monster, the company saying, ah, this is for the whole world. We'll take anybody. Um, and so if they're posting on UCLA Handshake, it's because they want a Bruin. So you have an in already. So I always tell students to start with Handshake. And then if you don't find what you're looking for on Handshake, then branch out to the company website or to Monster or to Indeed or to LinkedIn. But start with Handshake first. All right, here's a screenshot of what it looks on in, inside Handshake. So, you know, you have these tabs up here. You have a jobs tab, an events tab, a Q&A. So you go to the jobs tab um, and then you have these um, search criteria, right? These keywords that you can type in here. So this search criteria is putting chemical engineer, process engineer, chemical, R&D, manufacturing, data, petroleum, gore, data scientists. And there's this drop down menu here for filters. Oops, sorry, in the black box. And so you can search by part-time, full-time, internship, on-campus. You can search by state. You can search by domestic, international. Like, basically, there's tons of search options. So my recommendation is that you create search functions and then you save them. There are these little stars, okay? When you find a position that meets what you're looking for, click it. Click the star button because that helps the algorithm identify what it is you're interested in and what you're looking for. And guess what? Handshake wants to help you. They don't want you to spend 10 hours a week looking for 10 through 1,000 jobs for the perfect position. They're, they want to use the algorithm to send you those perfect matches. So you, it will save, or you can manually save these search criteria, these filters, and you can label it. And there's even a button that says, email me every time a new position is posted that meets this search criteria. Right, so you don't have to do the work. Handshake will do the work for you, but you need to automate the, the 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 search function. So that means you have to search, set your filters, save your filters, and then click the button that says "Email me." So that way, you're getting an inbox. You can get it once a day. You can get it once a week. Whatever you choose to do, you can set it up so that those positions that meet the criteria you're looking for are automatically sent to you, or at least when you log into Handshake, they populate your feed. Um, so that's what these boxes are about. You got this black box for the filters and then certain positions come up and then you got this yellow box here where it has um, a description of what it is. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna pause. Sorry about that. I had to pause briefly because uh, you heard the dogs. This is one of the, the new uh, norms of uh, online Zoom working from home is you can't control what happens outside your house. So sorry about that, but I'm back. Um, I was talking about the yellow box here and this yellow box here is basically, it shows the match, right? So based on the filters you created, 
it will match to what you're looking for and it'll give you the position and it'll tell you how you match if you match by major by gpa by school or by on-campus internship etc right um, and then it tells you how long the post position is posted right so this is a uh, just biotherapeutics full-time job seattle washington paid posted on july 24th and then it has an application deadline and of course you can even apply um, Sometimes it'll say apply online through directly through Handshake, and sometimes it'll say apply externally, which is usually a link to the home web page for that company. So um, this is how you can start finding internship and entry level jobs. So please use Handshake, save those filters, automate it by clicking the button that says email me. Um, the more you click, the algorithm will know what you're looking for. All right, transitioning to the next slide, events. Handshake is also, like I said earlier, the place where you can find events. So under the events tab, which is right here, um, you can search events, you can find career fairs, you can explore jobs. Um, so, you know, again, there's different search filters you can use for different types of events. And then the key here is that you click on those events and you say, you know, the little star button that says, yes, I like this event. You can view the event. You can RCP for the event. The more you click, the more Handshake knows what types of events you're interested in. And again, it will populate your feed and email. If you click that button, it'll automate sending you emails whenever a new event is posted that meets the search criteria and the filters that you're looking for. So again, use it um, so that it automates. 